What is up everyone, it's Sir Deathvids. Welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot video. This one is 18W10D. I skipped a few versions because I was busy during the week, but now I'm back and I'm making this video. So this will sort of cover from the changes that I missed in 18W10A all the way to 10D. So let's get into the world and find some of these changes. So one of the changes for 18W10D this was changing the phantom into an undead mob. You saw that with the model change. And they also made it burn in daylight, so if we spawn one, it should now burn. Maybe. Or not? Yeah, there we go. Now you can see it. It's burning. Just took a little bit of time. Come on, dude, there's water just right there. What are you doing? And he still just drops the leather now. Oh, you can also see the other one died. So with the change of these phantoms being undead mobs, they burn during the day and they're wounded by smite. So this. I could put it on a sword, but I'm lazy. So yeah, smite books. That's good because I have a really good sword called Hero's Butter. And it's actually pretty decent. I'm going to go look for some coral. Okay, this island has some interesting stuff, but if we go over here, you can see there is now coral. They're a combination of plants and blocks. Cool thing with coral blocks is if they're out of the water, they die and they turn grayscale. Check this out. I'll just build up. So you can see the ones on top will be dead. So if I start building stuff up here. Each one has its unique texture. I think this pink one would be cool for a road maybe. I'll go grab a blue one and let's grab a yellow one too. So the nine squares that are here were pink. These ones are yellow so you can see it has just a slightly different texture if I surround it with it. And I'll do this side with blue too. So you can see they all have slightly different textures. They blend together well and they're also nice on their own. So these plants, they can be placed underwater on any block. Oh hey look, tropical fish. They're cute. So previously in the earlier snapshots like 18W10A, the coral was only available in the creative menu, but now they spawn naturally in these warm ocean biomes. And you can also see, I forgot to say the lighting changes last time. So you can see in the different ocean biomes, the lighting slightly changes. There was a change with the model of the trident, so they made it actually fit within the hotbar things, and it throws normally. I don't think they've made any other changes to it. I forgot to mention last time with the tropical fish that there's, I think, 3,072 variants, which is insane, because it's bringing the ocean from nothing to so many fish. Bye bye puffer fish, watch you die. Gotcha. Both these clownfish looking things. Yeah, the trident's really fun. I'm sorry, I went on fish slaughter. Whoa, I've never seen a school of puffer fish together. That's interesting. So you may be wondering, what else is new in this update? Well, there's something really exciting about water physics. So in previous versions, you couldn't put stairs and slabs underneath the water. Now you can. So you can build up a little design underneath the water. Look at that. It's enclosed. And what you can do there, you just saw me do it, you can fill it up with water. Check this out. See how that's empty? You can just fill it up. Same thing goes for slabs, you can put them on both the top and bottom of blocks, and they're fine. So you can do stuff like this underneath the water, which is quite cool. I'm probably going to use this for making an underwater base or two. So you can have a combination of stairs and slabs underneath the water, you can have upside down stairs, they're perfectly fine. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this, and it's not only stairs and slabs. You can also do it with fences, glass panes I think. Iron bars, I'm pretty sure. Look at that. So, this means 
with this new change, you can make a proper dock now. So this is your dock, right? And previously there would be the big ugly air bubbles, but now you can actually put the fences in here, and they're fine. These count as source blocks. So you can have movable water if you move them with pistons. And wow, this goes quite deep, right? I'm in an ocean, not a river. So yeah, you can now have poles leading all the way down. You can put iron bars. Nope, they do the same thing. Oh, I know why. This was part of the changes. So what you do is you need a water bucket, and you need to fill up the blocks, and then they'll work normally. So see? Now they're perfectly fine in the water. And if I clear out these spaces, you can now actually go behind them. You can make yourself like a little glass cage under the water. So this is going to be cool if you want to do some kind of underwater aquariums or something. I'll look at the changelog again and check what other changes they made recently. So you can see chests work fine underwater, which is awesome. Good for the chests in the ocean runes. So it works perfectly fine, functions normally. You can put markers on your maps. So if you take a white banner, let's say, and an orange banner, and a light blue banner, and if I grab myself an empty map, I'll place down these banners. So you can see there's nothing here, right? But I'll click it. You can see that a banner actually shows up on the map. I'll click this one, another banner, another one, and another one. You can see now that they're all on the map if I just go away. The orange one I think is barely on there. So maybe I'll move it like, to over here. Now it's on the map. So if you name the banner and put it on the map, you can see now that the text shows up on the map. If I just unright click on this banner, so it'll take it off too. So yeah, I can see test text is there. I can move those two as well. So now we just have this banner that's named. If I take a cauldron and fill it up with water, I can throw it in a dyed shulker box and it'll make it an undyed variant. Check this out. Or not. Okay, yeah, so you can see now it's just a normal shulker box. This is different than the purple one. I'm not sure what use this would have, but maybe if you have a weirdly colored shulker box, you might want to change it. And that's about it. But don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you something incredibly cool. So you want to create a new world. I will call this snapshot 18w10d. First time I think we've ever had a D snapshot. And for the seed, you want the seed to be what the fork. This is because I was watching a lot of Captain Sparkles and that's one of the things that he says. So if you load up this world, you should find that you've spawned into a forest and there's some pumpkins over here. There's a swamp biome. If we just go slash TP Whoa. Okay. This is interesting. So I was just going to show you guys the ocean runes that generated on land, but they've gotten cooler and more messed up since 18w10b. So before it was just these three ocean runes here that generated on the land, but now there's a village within them. So this makes it even more rare and interesting. And yes, they actually do have treasure in them. I'm not sure if this one does or not, but this one does for sure, if we just remove some of the gravel, you can see a chest here. And it has one of the buried treasure maps. So this is one of the cool things. Then this one also has a treasure map within it, if we destroy this gravel. See? It doesn't have a map, but it has treasure. And then... This is also close to, there's another set of runes just right here. So you can see, there's another thing of treasure. Plus you've got a village here, which seems to be... 
uninhabited, but not a zombie village, which is cool. Yeah, there's no villagers in here. And over here, just east of those ruins, there's an ocean monument with a ravine right beside it. So if I just go down within here, you can see it's quite a bit, it's quite hollow under here. Hey guardians. And I'll go back to these above land ruins, which have the village in them now. This is quite impressive. If you go just west of it, there's another set of ruins. If I line this up like this, you may recognize it. This was the thumbnail for that first snapshot video. For some reason these stairs don't have the water in them, which is cool. But you can just fill them up with the bucket and they look normal. As you can see now, everything's fine. And yes, this one also has treasure within it. Another cool thing is there's more ocean runes quite close to this. Look, here's another one. Just right here. And yes, this one has treasure as well. Look, another treasure map. Oh, this is cool too. There's coral right over here. But I'm going to show you something else interesting. I don't know what's more interesting than above land ruins with a village in them, but I'll show you this anyways. So if you just go, I believe it's north east maybe? Whoa, I found this accidentally. This is another village generating in the water. That's right. We just have a floating village randomly. No inhabitants either. Just a random floating village. And I'm sorry about the lag. Just loading up the world. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that this stuff is like all solid. This is not a chunk error or anything. Do you need some dirt? Because here's some dirt. Need some cobblestone and a floating well? Well, here you go. What are the odds here of having this generate right in it? Hmm? This is crazy. I wasn't meaning to plan. I wasn't planning to find this thing, but wow, it's here. This was not what I was looking for. If you go just a little ways southwest of this village here, you're going to find the thing that I was intending to find. I went the opposite way by accident and found that cool village. These are ruins that are touching the surface. And that's not all. But wait, there's more. If you look inside, there's glazed terracotta spawning in here for no apparent reason. And they were apparently in a perfect orientation. This is all that I wanted to show you guys in this Minecraft snapshot video. If you liked it, please do drop me a like and a sub. I'm getting so close to 100 now, I'm at 98. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much. See you in, in my next video. Goodbye.